Hi there. Oh, you're playing with blocks. Nice. It was my favorite pastime when I was a kid. Would you like to learn about carbon and the carbon cycle today with the help of blocks? First, tell me, do you know what carbon is? What? Oh, car plus bun equals carbon. <laughs> Very funny. Actually, carbon is more like your building blocks. It's the stuff you, I, plants, and all living things are made of. Look at these. Oh, these are not C for cat kind of words. Here, C represents carbon. The C show carbon atoms. They are always around us in the atmosphere, and they are in our body also, as carbon dioxide. Would you like to go on an exciting journey with these carbon atoms as they go around in the carbon cycle? Okay, good. Then come out with me. You see these plants? These plants take in carbon from the air to make their food. They also use sunlight to help them make their food. See? Now the carbon is moved in the plant. When we and other animals eat the plants or food made from plants, we store that carbon inside our bodies. Our bodies and all animals use the carbon to grow. Then, bigger animals eat smaller ones, and carbon keeps on moving from one body to another. All living things breathe. When we breathe out, some of this carbon is released back into the air as carbon dioxide. So, how does carbon move from the atmosphere to living things and back? You are right! Plants breathe in carbon dioxide to make food. Then, this food is eaten by animals. Sometimes, smaller animals are eaten by bigger animals. This way, carbon is transferred from air to plants and animals. Animals and plants breathe out carbon dioxide, then it goes back into the air. Now a question for you. Do you know what happens to all that carbon stored in a body when it dies? When a plant or animal dies, most of the stored carbon goes back into the soil. Some of it goes back into the air, but most of it gets trapped in the soil. And over millions of years, the trapped carbon changes shape. It can end up as a diamond probably coal, or fossil fuels, such as petrol and diesel. You know, the same cycle happens in water, too. In fact, the ocean floor has such huge amounts of carbon stored in it that it is called a carbon sink. So, can you tell me some ways carbon is stored in the Earth? Very good! Carbon is stored in living things, in oceans, and as fossil fuels, like coal and petroleum, deep underground. Oh, careful there. Is it getting hotter? It's because we humans are disturbing the carbon cycle. As we burn more and more fuel, coal, petrol, diesel, and gas, more and more of the locked up carbon gets released in the air. It's the job of trees to absorb this carbon, but we're cutting down trees too. This leaves a lot of carbon in the air, which leads to global warming and the delicate balance of the carbon cycle is broken by us. Now that you know about the carbon cycle, maybe you can help Mother Earth keep her balance.